got Big Mama in here tonight. It's being a little bit scared at first, but <coughs> see. <laughs> She was dipping in the pool. You're okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the bright light. Or the new camera set up. <laughs> she really loves the pool. She was here last night for a good shit close to an hour. <clears throat> Just sat here and threw handfuls for her. Got eaten alive. <laughs> there you go. Get your big butt in there. <laughs> Cleaned out the pool tonight. put fresh water in there. It was freezing cold water when I put it in there. I'm sure it's warmed up now. It was... It said it felt like 50 today. Hey! She'll be back. She's always back. Throw a bunch in there for her. There was one that came earlier, but started taping it and about five minutes later he was gone well not even five minutes it was like two minutes he heard something and then I was gone so I just deleted the video last night I didn't record it it was just too bloody hot so just ugh. even with the air conditioning going it's still just as hot She's probably sitting, there she is. I knew she'd pop her head up. Come on. <laughs> I love when she pops her head up. She's not used to being on camera though. I, I always sit with her without a camera on. I talk to her all the time, but I never use the camera. I've only done this two or three times with her. All right, here you go, sweetheart. I keep just chucking food in there. I can't chuck a handful. I already put a scoop in there earlier, so there's still some probably floating. Well, they're probably sunk to the bottom now. There was a bunch of them this morning, or this evening when I emptied the pool out. Last night, I guess now, because it's, what time is it? 1.20 in the morning? Just too hot. And the kids' rooms were, I was like walking into hell or something. I tell them, open your doors, get your fans going. Let my my air conditioner blow into your room. But no, they want to have their door closed. They want to have their privacy. But yet they're bitching that it's too hot. And she's in the pool. I don't want to chuck too many in there at, the, at once. I don't want her to think that I'm hit, trying to hit her. She won't take her eyes off me, though. Constantly just staring at me. <laughs> if the other ones are here, I'll just go out there with a with a scoop of food and just dump it in there in front of them. They don't. Well, they they'll run away to the end of the porch, but or to the stairs. So that's about it. This one, she'll climb a tree. <laughs> And I'm not sure if, like, I know I know she's a she now, for sure. I don't know if she's got babies or, or not. Her, her boobies don't look all that big or anything. It doesn't look like anything was been latching on them lately. Could be wrong. Either way, she's got a nice 
cool pool to cool off her boobies. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I know it's 2021. I don't know what it, I don't know. She's got different paws than the other raccoon. She's actually got, I don't know, it looks like she's got tan colored bottoms of her feet. I know you can't see it on film, but I notice it once in a while and it's, it's weird. Hey, you're okay. <laughs> oh, that one hit her. She didn't even care though. I don't know if you can actually see it on film when I throw them in or not, especially one at a time. All I can see when I do it is bugs flying by. Mosquitoes were awful tonight again. We were outside for a little bit and holy hell, they were just terrible. All of us got eaten alive. And the neighbor, the neighbor decided in this heat that we've been having now for close to a week everything's dry everything's dead grass is everyone's grass is dying the people that don't water them they're all dying and this idiot thinks it's a good idea to go have a fire in his backyard and my backyard is just like his it's just covered in trees and he goes and has a fire so i i, I, sp I smelled smoke that's what got me i was like what the hell oh, no. i hope that's not a big fire or anything and I go out, look out back, and there, sure shit, there's a fire. And there's a gas tank sitting right beside it. And nobody watching the fire. And it is, I'm, I'm talking like 40 degrees Celsius. I don't know, that's like 100, 100, around 100, 100 and something. And this guy and his dad, I assume, because the, the, the one guy's like in his 70s and the other guy's in his 50s are sitting there at their kitchen table, eating their dinner and talking to each other while they have a fire that's unattended in this gnarly weather. So the asshole that I can be, especially when I know that's just not cool, I went over there, my daughter followed me, I knocked on the door, back door, I'm like, what are you doing, man? Like, you're not even sitting by your fire. Why are you having a fire? Oh, there's no fire ban until tomorrow. I don't give a shit if there's no fire ban until tomorrow. Everything is dry. It's obvious. If you get any spark on anything, there's going to be a forest fire. And with, like, dozens of trees in each of our yards that are all, like, cedar and pine and, and yew or whatever, they all have dry, dry wood, right? So, anyways, we got in a little bit of a spat. I ended up calling the fire department on them. Two fire trucks showed up. They made him put about. Cause that, oh, I'm glad he did. Cause that was that was stupid. Like uh, all over BC right now, there's forest fires everywhere, and people are wanting to take a chance, like just so you can burn a little bit of garbage. That's stupid. Take your garbage to the garbage dump. It's free for for anything that's. Um, like yard waste, it's free. And it's just, what, I think it's five kilometers down the road? <laughs> the garbage dump? That's my rant for the day. I was pissed off. I wouldn't ever take a chance of burning anyone's house down, but these guys are, they're, he owns the place, but he's not here year round, so he's hes hes an Albertan. And those Albertans are those city folk, they, they come here and they don't know any better and oh, I'm just gonna have a fire and leave it unintended that was the dumbest thing you know if it was a propane <laughs> fire like one of those you know those porch ones that's a totally different story but he had this thing with a jerry can a couple feet away and he's inside with his dad eating dinner or whatever the hell they're doing not attending to it <laughs> I hope everyone else's day was good. <laughs> that was my, my rant, I guess. And I think my kid just stubbed her toe on a fan. 
I just heard it go clunk and then I hear shit. <laughs> Trying to find it? Here. There you go. It's nice to see them eat in the pool, and then that way I know their body temperatures are staying nice and cool. <laughs> she got a real bushy tail. The other ones, their tails are kind of skinny and almost like rat like, but she's got a real bushy tail. And she eats like a pig. Yeah, you do. You eat like a pig. <laughs> ah, I can see her paws again. Her paws have little, I don't know, like, she's got like tan bottoms of her feet. Notice that a few times. It's weird. I don't think I can see it at all. Yeah, you can see a little bit there. Whoa, camera's moving. You see her feet? She's got little, little white toes. She is a kiwi for sure. Still not sure of a name. I, I want to keep to like a, a dorky, silly kind of name. You know, like Crackhead Carl and Johnny Longarms. And you go something like that. I don't know what to want to pick. <laughs> She's a pig though. I think she eats more than Russell. So that's why it makes me wonder if she is eating for a litter. <laughs> Try not to hit her with them, but I hit the side of the pool. It scares her. But if I go out there, she'll freak out. She sure watches me like a hawk, though. So how hot was it everywhere where you guys were today? I hope for you guys' sake it was nothing like here. This is like unheard of. I think they said on the news tonight uh, we beat Las Vegas records for this time of year. Like, Las Vegas is in a desert. What is going on? And we had temperatures that were the same as uh, Cairo, Egypt. Like, oh, no thanks. I'm I'm ready for winter. I like snow. I like cold. I like ice. <laughs> and I don't mind driving in winter. A lot of people they're they're terrified of winter driving. My mom, she's one of them. I, I've never seen. I think I've seen her drive to the mailbox in winter once, and that was years ago. And the mailbox was like. I don't know, pretty much at the end of our driveway. I've never seen her go anywhere if there's snow on the road. If there's snow on the side of the roads and the roads are bare, like dry, she'll drive. But not if there's any snow on the roads, so. I don't mind. Um, I like it. Just take your time. Drive like an asshole and you'll be fine. I keep throwing stuff in there for her. She gets distracted trying not to hit her in the head. and as I said that it hit her on top of the head it doesn't even phase her though I mean when the the pieces of food come on you're not gonna focus are you when the pieces of food and it scared her when the pieces of food are that small and she's got that fuzzy of a head I'm sure it's not gonna hurt her <laughs> get your big butt in there She, she's a, uh, she's thick. <laughs> she just looks very scared and intimidated. Hey, it's better to be safe than sorry though, especially if she does have babies. I want to be coming home to them. How you doing? Your boobies all cold in there? <laughs> that'll, that'll keep her nice and cool for the next hour. Yeah, 
every time I put the pool out for her, she's the one that uses it the most. They, you know, they can send a memo to the rest of the raccoons around this area. There's a pool here, free food. Or maybe they just don't want to tell other raccoons so that they can keep it all to themselves. Smart thinking. <laughs> Whoa, camera just did something wonky there. When you turn a certain way, sometimes it does that. Oh, hit her on the butt that time. Here, I'm gonna try to throw some for you. Ready? <sighs> Oops. I missed like more than half of them. Here, I'll try again. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave her alone. Stop bugging her and stop talking your guys' ears off tonight. Hoping everyone's having a good evening. Bye bye.